Hey, how's it going YouTube? I am doing this video to review a safe I bought online from Costco. This is the Bighorn Executive Safe, model number B5529ECS. It is 18.46 cubic feet. Uh, that's what it's advertised. And if you look at the details, that's actually the um, external dimension. Uh, I don't know why they would advertise that when they already have it advertised in inches but the internal dimension is actually a bit smaller it's closer to 10 cubic feet or 10.89 cubic feet as advertised on the website um, so I bought this safe less than 30 days ago just needing something to put my personal belongings and valuables in guns paperwork whatnot and at first, it seemed like a pretty good buy. It was listed as $600. It was on sale uh, on the Costco online website, and they delivered it to my door. And I was able to uh, bring this back to my closet on a dolly by taking the front door off and then wheeling it back here. It's 340 pounds. I didn't weigh it, but that's what it's advertised as. And the safe body is made of 14-gauge steel. So 14-gauge steel is not very thick. But I figured, you know, just to have something to keep uh, uh, my stuff safe from the average, you know, curiosity around the house would be good. Uh, has I'll show you the inside. I have it open right now. It takes a six-digit pin on a digital lock. And it has five bolts. So two inactive here and here. And then three active going down this side um, it is fire rated for 30 minutes at 1400 degrees Fahrenheit uh, no way to test that don't really want to test it but as you can see on the inside there is the digital lock mechanism I have the door take or the cover taken off this is just a little piece of sheet metal they got so it'd be convenient to hang your stuff there and that door is held on in eight spots, two holes in each side with these little screws. And they just come with a little cap. You pop the cap off, take the screw off, and then that little cover comes off. So you get to the internals of the safe. So I'm not a safe expert, but the reason why I did this is because I went to open or I went to close it one day. I'm not gonna do it now, but or close it, but I'll show you. I turned the handle. And it binded up on me. I don't know if you guys could see that. But at the bottom, this is what it's supposed to do. And this is all fine and dandy. But what happened was at the bottom, I'll show you. I'll open it again. So that's the safe. Put in the code. Turn it. You can see these one-inch diameter bolts. Uh, the active bolts. Those two are fine. This one is recessed or sucked in or depressed more than it should be and so this is not very thick metal it's only about that's 14 gauge uh it's not very thick and these bolts you know they're not very long i'll measure them to show you guys about two and a half inches and so this little bar right here that operates the uh the active bolts connected to the lock. This is like a clutch flywheel plate that is supposed to protect the lock and disengage if someone's trying to finagle it open. But it doesn't really work that well and I'll tell you why. It's because this has too much play in it. This metal bar at the top here, pretty secure because it's real close to the bolted support. But at the bottom, you have a longer distance without any support, and you can bend it a fair amount. And what happened is, just by normal operation, it gets recessed in there, and then when you go to close, it'll bind up on you and be crooked. And I got lucky and was able to get it open, but it was locked and I couldn't get it open for a while. So I just want to make this review and show people that, you know, 
this safe is all right, I guess, for what it is. But the fact that I had that experience where essentially the active bolts failed on me, I don't want it anymore. You know, I don't need to have my stuff get stuck in here and have to have a guy come out and drill the safe or whatnot. I called the company that manufactures these. They're called Rhino Metals. And these safes are made mostly in China. And I contacted them. I was like, left them a message, didn't call me back. Called them again, left message, didn't call me back. Eventually, I just decided to call Costco because, you know, I could always return it to them. They have a really good return policy. They're awesome. And they were able to actually get me on a three-way call with me, Costco, and Rhino Metals. And what ended up happening was Rhino Metals, the representative was like, oh, it sounds like the active bolts binded up with you on the bottom. It can happen sometimes due to dust. You're supposed to lube the, uh, the slide mechanism or whatever. And you can see here it has a lube on it. And he says it's a super lube. Says you can buy it on Amazon or whatever. And my point being, nothing in the instruction manual says to do that upon purchase and he agreed with me it doesn't say to do that and i disagreed with him it binded up on me not because it wasn't lubed it's just because it's an inferior product all you got are these bolts really holding the arguably mo second most important part connected to the most important part of the safe <laughs> and that little bit of wiggle caused it to fail so upon that and just kind of having it open for a few days thinking about what i'm going to do i'm going to return it but then looking at this this is the sheetrock or this rather is the sheetrock and this is just a sample sheetrock to keep it in place there's a lot of dead space in here they advertise this safe to be hold on i wrote it down 4.25 inches thick and here's the deal i get what they're trying to say but Let me see if it's hard to do this with the uh, one hand. That's barely four. That's not even four inches. It's barely four inches. So the thing is, this part is the actual like door, and all of this isn't even, you know, solid. Obviously, it's 14 gauge, it's real thin. And then you have like the fireproof sheetrock, and then this obviously is the space you need. For the lock and internals but it just looks like a poorly made product it's cracked right here cracked right there cracked right there and that might not be important because that seems to be just like a spacer to keep the actual sheetrock pressed up against the 14 gauge steel wall but they advertise as being super thick super strong all that stuff it's not <laughs> it's just uh look this plate right here isn't even like fully welded all the way down it's just kind of like spot welded in places and you know i get welding the whole thing might warp it because it's real thin but uh i just want to make this review to show people out there it's like hey if you just need something to keep stuff away from the kids in the house or whatever sure maybe but even then i wouldn't recommend it because if you <laughs> you really need something on here and you go to open it it's probably going to happen one day like it happened to me. It uh, It's going to get stuck at the bottom. And as you can see, that's way further out. And then that's just barely sticking out. So if that gets caught and you can feel it binding up, you're going to have to have someone come open your safe for you. And calling Rhino Metals was a pain. They didn't really get back to me on anything. I had to go through Costco and luckily they're able to get a hold of them. So just putting this out there because when I was trying to look for reviews to buy this safe, no one can really go into detail about any of this. Also it's advertised to be a 30, uh, be able to store 30 long rifles. And look, I understand these aren't long rifles. I got like an AR-10 shotgun and an AR-9, AR-15, but just looking at this, like I really doubt you can fit 30 long rifles in here, man. Like, you like just because you got the little cutouts for where the barrel can go doesn't mean you can fit the whole body in there so 
just something to be aware of. Uh, I hope you guys found this useful and uh, like and comment and I'll get back to you if I can on anything that you have any questions about. Thanks for watching.